I first met then Father Fred Annie at Cheat Lake more than 25 years ago, and I can still remember thinking that he was the coolest, hippest priest that I had ever met. I could tell from the moment we met that he could keep the trains running and most importantly on time. To me, he has not only been a spiritual and community leader, but he has been a dear friend who has shown me the true importance of enjoying life to the fullest every day. Everyone who has had the pleasure of knowing Monsignor Annie knows that he is genuinely devoted to his faith, his church, his family, and the people he unfailingly serves every day. I truly congratulate Monsignor Annie for receiving the Bishop's Cross this year. No one has dedicated more time, more fortitude, and more talent in his 37 years of service to the Diocese of Wheeling, Charleston than Monsignor Fred Annie. His contributions to the diocese, to the Catholic parishioners around the state, and to countless peoples across West Virginia know no bounds. Congratulations, my dear friend, Monsignor Annie. First of all, I have to say, you know, having Fred as a priest in our family, we're all very honored and very proud of him. The other thing is I have to say that it's a comfort to have my brother as a priest. I know for me it is, and I can speak, I think, for all of us, my brothers and for the extended family, that we know he's praying for us. And that's such a powerful thing to have someone to pray for you. In looking at Freddie, he's the type of person that you could tell when he was a kid that he was probably going to be a priest. And when you looked at his mom and dad, particularly his mother, you thought somebody in that family is going to be a priest. He just looked at family and they had a holy family with a mother that was a very religious woman. And that family in the Charleston area was just one of the better Italian Catholic families in that area. I remember incidences where one of my daughters was particularly uh, in the uh, First Communion and how he was able to really relate to the uh, little ones, yet actually bring the parents in. And I think he's done that all his life at various levels of uh, Catholic education. Monsignor Annie has really worked hard to strengthen Catholic education. He's given my office an unbelievable latitude to really build a system. His oversight on finances, his concern about the facilities, all have strengthened the program way more than when it before I got here. However, probably the most important thing is he's really concerned about the Catholic identity of the schools and making sure that the Catholic kids in our schools are really fully immersed in the faith. But most importantly, he does what in his heart is the best possible direction that we can possibly have for our schools. I have known Monsignor Annie since his first days as a priest in this diocese, and I've had the privilege of working with him throughout the years. We've served on many committees together. We're both in central administration at the same time. He has always been very supportive, very creative, and at his heart uh, wishes to have Catholic education at its best in this diocese. We were cleaning it out my mom's home, and she kept everything. So we're looking at the grade cards, and she had kept all our grade cards all through elementary school. And on Fred's first grade report card, he got a C in reverence, which I don't think anyone would believe that would be a fact today, that he's probably one of the most reverent people that you have ever known. So we all had a big laugh about that. I wanted to thank my parents for putting me in Catholic schools. At the grade school level, I attended St. Francis Grade School in St. Albans. And also at the high school level at Charleston Catholic in Charleston. I think parents who make those sacrifices for their children pay off in many big ways in the future. So I, I felt that would be a big thing I'd want to do is to thank them. And also to thank the faculty. Many teachers throughout West Virginia make a lot of sacrifices to teach in our schools certainly in terms of finances, but in other ways in terms of the rewards, I'm sure that they find great rewards in teaching in that setting. But nonetheless, to thank them for making that choice to teach in our Catholic schools. 
And finally, I wanted to thank all of you seated here today who come and support our schools, who give your children and your energy and your time and devotion to support Catholic education. With you and your children, the faculty that are here, the administration that is here, that keeps our schools alive and well. And I wanted to thank you very much.